Hello everyone and welcome in the new Python video. And today we're going to talk about the assert statement in Python. So without further ado, let's get down to this. We're gonna start off with assert's definition and its syntax. So as you can see, simply speaking, assert is a Boolean expression that evaluates to true or false in our code. And think of it as a debugging aid as a debugging tool in your Python programs. It's important to know that assertions should not be used to validate input data in your programs because that might lead to security hazards, which I will show you later on. So looking at the syntax, we can see that we have our assert keyword followed by the expression. And as an option in our square brackets, we can use the extended form in which we provide additional information to, now, to our assertion. So in case it fails, in case assertion evaluates to false, we will get this additional information in our, uh, in our uh, code. So as you can see, we have two forms, which I've already mentioned, but let's see what really happens when we use the assert keyword under the hood. So we have this built-in debug variable, which if we don't run Python in optimized mode is, uh, is true. So if this, uh, if this is turned on, uh, it will check whether our expression evaluates to false. If so, it will raise the assertion error. And in the extended form, it will raise assertion error, but with additional message. So later on, we'll be able to track down bugs more easily. Okay, so let, let's move on now. And we're gonna take a look at very few, at, <laughs> at very simple, trivial, assert examples. So as you can see here, on the left, we have assert statement, which evaluates the true. And I want to show you what happens in such cases. Basically, program continues to run as normally, business as usual, nothing happens, but if it evaluates to false, and this is an example on the, on the right side, uh, an assertion error is raised. And that's what we've discussed already. That's what really happens when we use these assertions and they evaluate to false. So let's now switch to spider ID and we're gonna take a look at some practical examples. So I'm gonna use the interactive console here and I'm gonna write a trivial assert statement first. We're gonna assert that one equals to zero, which obviously should evaluate to false. And that's what we get. And this is the normal mode that we've discussed already. But say that we want to add additional information to our assertion error. I'm gonna say one does not equal zero. And that's what we get. So uh, this might help you if you use this in the future, uh, this custom message might help, might help you track down bugs quicker. Okay, so now that we have it, uh, let's know that we can use different comparison operators in asserts. So we can check whether one is greater, whether it's less than zero and so on. We can use membership tests. So for example, uh, we can check whether one is in this uh, list of items. If not, we can provide custom message as we did previously. One not in the list. And before we move on to our text editor to take a look at a more practical example that you might encounter in, in the future, let's clear this and let's take a look at this built-in debug variable that I've mentioned. I just want to show you that if we run Python in normal mode, it evaluates to true. We cannot make assignments uh, to this variable. So I'm gonna just assign this to, try assign this to an empty string. It doesn't work, obviously. So I just want to, I just want you to be aware that we have this debug building variable that we've discussed already. Okay, so let's clear this and let's now switch to the text editor on the left and basically 
Uh, I'm going to create a dictionary, dictionary containing students and their grades. And we're going to use a search statement to check whether the grades that the users, that the students get meet certain criteria. Okay, so I'm going to say results equals dict. And I'm going to say Joe got like 100 points, Mike got like 50, and Corntech which didn't do very well at like zero. But our assumption is that the grades, according to our system, cannot equal to zero. So we're going to assert this in our code, just to make sure that we don't have these scores, that we don't have such bags in our programs, in our results. So I'm going to say for student and grade, and we're going to look for our dictionary in results and I'm going to use the items method on our dictionary object and we're going to simply assert that great doesn't equal zero and in case it does which basically means that we have a bag we're going to add here some custom message and it's going to be great for students and we're going to use f strings. This is something that I want to show you as well that we can provide here f strings, which can make our code easier to debug later on. And we're going to put in here student variable cannot be zero exclamation mark. Okay, so let's run this code and see what happens. As you can see, we get back the assertion error as expected. And we get this custom message as well. So we immediately know with which student we have the issue, with, with which grade we have the issue. So that's really the essence of a search statement in Python. It should serve you as a tool for debugging, not as a tool for validating data as such. Okay, so I'm going to remove this and I'm going to, I want to get back to the security hazards that assert statements might cause when used unproper, improperly. So I'm going to say, again, something very trivial, assert equals zero, which should evaluate to false, obviously. But down here, I'm going to provide this print statement. I'm going to say program continues to run. And when we run this, obviously, this print statement shouldn't be executed. Print function shouldn't be executed. And I'm going to now move on to, or I'm going to switch to my terminal and first of all I want to show you that we have this option in Python which is um, denoted by capitalized O dash O and we can take a look at that using grep uh, obviously I don't want to use this and I'm gonna use Python free and obviously I want to print out help and grep for dash O and as you can see here, we have this dash O option, which basically removes assert and debug dependent statements. So it will basically turn on optimized mode in our Python programs. So if we have something like this, such code in our program, if we turn on optimized mode, this print function will be executed. Okay, so let me demonstrate this. If we run this without optimized mode, and I think this is called, let's see how I called this file. Obviously, Python scripts, I need to navigate there. There we go. Uh, I think this is a project, sorry for that. Yes, assert. There we go. So I'm going to run this assert 
underscore stmt.py script. And that's what we expected. We get our assertion error. The program stops running exactly at the point where our assertion evaluated to false. But what happens? Take a look here. What happens if we provide dash o option? We get our print output here. And that's the security risk because now imagine that what you do, you uh, validate input data. You have a database, you validate whether a user here has certain privileges and you do it using a search statement. So if you run this code in optimized mode, this might lead to unwanted code execution. And we don't want to have this in our programs. Okay, so let's clear this. And I just want to mention one more thing uh, before we go to the summary. And that is that a search statement is used as a primary evaluation tool in PyTest framework. And PyTest is, I think, the most popular testing tool in Python. So I encourage you to check this out. I'm going to put a link in the comments to the documentation of PyTest. And as a recap, I want you to pay attention to these three points, which basically are as follows. Assertions should be used to test conditions that should never happen. And if these conditions evaluate to false, it means that you have a bag in your program. You should think of assertion statements as assert statements as a debugging tool and never ever validate input data using assert statement. Okay, so that be it for today. Uh, if you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section. And if you've liked this video, help me by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you for your time and take care. Bye-bye.